Now in this part of the question, we're given the two curves C1 and C2 and we're told that C1 is such that y equals 3 sine 2x and C2 is such that y equals 4 sine squared x minus 2 cos 2x. And we've got to show that at the point of intersection, 4 cos 2x plus 3 sine 2x equals 2. Well at the point of intersection, you'd expect the y coordinates for both curves to be exactly the same for a particular set of values of x. And if that's the case, then we can say that 3 sine 2x must equal 4 sine squared x minus 2 cos 2x at that point of intersection. So there's our starting point then. At the point of intersection, we can say that therefore 3 sine 2x has to equal 4 sine squared x minus 2 cos 2x. Now we've got to prove that 4 cos 2x plus 3 sine 2x equals 2. And when I compare this to what we've got to show, I notice that we've got the sine 2x term, we've got a cos 2x term, there we go, those two, but we haven't got a sine squared x term in here. So has this got anything to do with the first part, I would think? Remember that in the first part, we showed that we had an identity. Let's just write it down over here. We showed that the cosine of 2a was identical to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Well, if we obviously let a be an x this time, we can make sine squared x the subject. So we would therefore have that cosine of 2x must be identical to 1 minus 2 sine squared x if we're dealing with x's. If we were to add 2 sine squared x to both sides, we've got 2 sine squared x plus the cos 2x is identical to 1. And if we take away cos 2x from both sides, we end up with 2 sine squared x is identical to 1 minus cos 2x. Now we've got 4 sine squared x, so that's going to be twice as much as that. So therefore, if we were to multiply both sides by 2, we'd end up with 4 sine squared x is identical to 2 minus 2 cos 2x. And it is this that I would want to substitute in for the 4 sine squared x. So if we do that, we're therefore going to have 3 sine 2x is equal to, so in place of 4 sine squared x, I'm going to write 2 minus 2 cos 2x. Then we've got this minus 2 cos 2x. So now I've got all the types of terms that I need up here. It's just a question of rearranging this to see if we can get this. Well, I can see that we've got minus 4 cos 2x here. So if I was to add that to both sides, then I'm going to have what we need. We're going to have 4 cos 2x plus that 3 sine 2x just equals that 2 there. And there you have it.